Hello, this is Ms. Augustine, and today we are going to be writing the names from formulas for ionic compounds. So this is part three of our ionic uh, name and formula adventure. So beginning with binary ionic compounds, and remember binary ionics are composed of a metal and a nonmetal, and if it's binary, there's only two elements present. So again, binary means two elements, a nonmetal and a metal. And the ionic charges are used to assign both formulas and names. So the rules for naming binary compounds is first, write the name of the cation, which is usually a metal, and if the cation is a transition metal, you'll use a Roman numeral to tell which charge it has. And then two, you'll write the name of the nonmetal, the anion. And if it's binary, you have to give it that IDE, IDE ending. So the ide is chem speak for this is a binary compound. And again, in that case, you're going to use the root word of the element. So if the anion is oxygen, so it would be the oxide, then again, ox for oxygen, ide, because it's binary. And note, in naming ionic compounds, we do not use prefixes. That was the molecular thing. So we are not assigning prefixes. So for binary compounds, um, my first example is NaCl. So Na is sodium, and Cl is chlorine, so this would be sodium chloride. And my second example is K2O, so K is potassium, name the cation. O is oxygen, so this would be oxide, potassium oxide. And notice there are no prefixes. My third example is CABR2, that is CA, name the cation, calcium. Bromine is our anion, so it's bromide, calcium bromide. So naming binary compounds, what about if there's a transition element? And so in this example, I have copper, which is definitely in the D block on the periodic table, so that is a transition element. So since copper is a transition element, it has more than one possibility. It actually has two possibilities. It's either copper 1 or copper 2. So what do I do? How do I decide? Well, I have to go back and remember that Oxygen is a group 6 nonmetal, which means oxygen has a charge of 6 minus 8, which is negative 2. So that tells me, since there's only one copper, and it's a 1 to 1 ratio, that it must be copper 2. Since oxygen is a negative 2, in this case, copper is a plus 2. And so the name is correctly written as copper, Roman numeral 2, ox for oxygen and ide because it's binary. So what if it's a ternary ionic compound? And that means it's an ionic compound that contains atoms of three different elements, which means it usually contains a polyatomic ion. So we follow the same procedure as naming um, a binary compound. Um, so we initially just name our cation, and then because it's ternary and it contains a polyatomic, we do not end the name with the IDE suffix, rather we just name the polyatomic ion. So we'll look at a few examples. So to write the name from the formula for a ternary compound, we would name the cation first. If the cation is a transition metal, we would use a Roman numeral to indicate its charge. Then we would name the polyatomic ion. Note the suffix will be the same as the polyatomic ion, so you just name it. And again, note in naming ionic compounds, we do not use prefixes to indicate the number of ions present, so no prefixes. So example one. CaNO3,2. Name the cation, calcium. Name the polyatomic ion, nitrate. Compound name, calcium nitrate. Again, note there are no prefixes. The 2 is the result of there needing to be two nitrates, each with a charge of negative 1, 2 
valens cancel the charge of calcium, which is plus 2. So again, no prefixes. So here's example 2. This is MgCO3. We name the cation. Mg is magnesium. We name the polyatomic ion. CO3 is carbonate. The compound name would be magnesium carbonate. And ternary ionic compound example number three. And this is PbCO3-2. So name the cation lead. Lead is a transition element, so it needs a Roman numeral. Use the charge of the polyatomic ion to help determine the charge on lead. Since carbonate is a negative 2, in this case, lead has to be a plus 4. Because carbonate is minus 2, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. In order to be neutral, lead has to be plus 4. So the compound name written correctly would be lead, Roman numeral 4, carbonate. So as you can see, naming these um, ionic compounds is a little tricky. However, I think that with a little practice, we'll get good at it. So for now, this is Ms. Augustine, and I'm signing off.